Burmese Cat vs. Sphinx Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The ancestors of the Burmese are the Siamese and the Copper Cat of Burma, now known as Myanmar. It's thought that they were temple and palace cats bred and kept by priests. The matriarch of the modern Burmese was a small, dark brown cat named Wang Mao. She belonged to Dr. Joseph Thompson, who either acquired her from a sailor or brought her back himself from his travels, depending on which story you believe. Wang Mao was at first thought to be a Siamese with a chocolate-colored coat. Such Siamese wasn't unheard of. Chocolate Siamese were described in the 1880s. Their bodies were tan or brown, and they had seal brown or nearly black points. The seal point Siamese, also known as Royal Siamese, had lighter bodies that contrasted with their dark points and were preferred by breeders in the public. The chocolate-colored cats eventually disappeared in Britain, but they still existed in Thailand and Burma, where they were probably the offspring of natural matings between free-roaming Siamese and solid-colored Burmese cats. Wang Mao was one of them. It was her destiny to become the matriarch of two new breeds, the Burmese and, later, the Tonkinese. Dr. Thompson bred Wang Mao to a seal point Siamese named Tai Mao. His breeding program, in conjunction with breeders Virginia Cobb and Billy Gerst and geneticist Clyde Keeler, produce kittens with beige, brown and pointed coats. The results, including the discovery of the Burmese gene, were so interesting that Thompson published an article on the subject in a 1943 issue of the Journal of Heredity, the first such piece on feline genetics. The Cat Fanciers Association began registering Burmese in 1936 but suspended registrations in 1947 because breeders were still using Siamese in their breeding programs. Registrations resumed in 1953 after the practice was stopped. Today the Burmese is a popular breed among cat lovers. The hairless sphinx is an example of the cat breeds that come about accidentally. A genetic mutation brought about the birth of a hairless kitten to Elizabeth, a black and white domestic cat in Toronto, Canada. Elizabeth's owner recognized that Prune, as the kitten was called, was unique and set about trying to reproduce him. He, along with other hairless kittens that were born in the mid to late 1970s, was bred to furred cats, including the Devon Rex. The gene for hairlessness is recessive, so while some of the offspring were hairless, others had fur, originally known as Canadian hairless cats, according to the International Cat Association, breeders eventually settled on the moniker Sphinx for the unusual breed, a reference to the gigantic limestone sculpture in the Egyptian desert, worn smooth over the millennia through erosion by wind, sand, and water. The Sphinx is recognized by the American Cat Fanciers Association, the Cat Fanciers Association and the International Cat Association, as well as other cat registries. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Burmese are energetic and friendly. He has the charm and determination of his Siamese ancestors and enjoys conversation as much as that breed, but his voice is soft and sweet, belying his tendency to run the household with an iron paw sheathed in velvety fur. He is highly intelligent and seeks out human companionship, so he's not best suited to a home where he will be left alone much of the day. If no humans will be around to engage his intellect, be sure he has the company of another pet. He gets along well with other cats and with dogs, but of course, another Burmese will be his best pal. The Burmese is about as curious as cats come. Expect him to explore your home thoroughly and know all of its nooks and crannies. He is playful and remains so into adulthood. Tease his clever mind with interactive toys, and teach him tricks that will allow him to show off for an audience. Besides sit, roll over, wave and come, he can learn to fetch a small toy or walk on a leash. With proper early conditioning, car rides and vet visits will be a breeze. A Burmese is a good choice if you don't object to complete loss of privacy. This cat will want to be involved in everything you do, from reading the newspaper and working at the computer to preparing meals and watching television. He will, of course, sleep on the bed with you and may even snuggle under the covers. When you are sitting down, he will be in your lap or right next to you, waiting expectantly to be petted. You will be scolded if you ignore him. Guests will receive his full attention, and it is likely that he will win over even those who claim to dislike cats. A female Burmese is the very definition of queenliness. She likes attention and she likes to be in charge. Males are more restful, satisfied to fill a lap. Whichever you choose, it's likely that you will soon find yourself yearning for another. It's a good thing that the Sphinx loves attention because he draws it wherever he goes. He is demanding human attention and will do anything for a laugh. Look at me! Is his catchphrase. That makes him easy to handle by veterinarians or anyone else, and it's not unusual for a Sphinx to be a therapy cat since he is so fond of meeting people. 
When he is not receiving the attention of his adoring fans, the curious and energetic Sphinx is exploring his surroundings, climbing his cat tree or otherwise seeking high places, chasing a bug or just generally getting into mischief. He is extremely fond of teaser toys and puzzle toys that challenge his athleticism and brains. This is a highly social cat. If you are gone during the day, the Sphinx will enjoy having a friend in the form of another Sphinx, another cat, or even a dog. He likes the company and, equally important, he likes having someone to snuggle with so that he stays warm. He loves to be held, and you can expect him to sleep with you, most likely under the covers. Think of it as having a living hot water bottle. The soft, short coat of the Burmese is easily cared for with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. A bath is rarely necessary. Despite his bald body, a sphinx requires at least as much grooming as cats with fur and maybe even more. Their skin must be kept moisturized with a gentle, scent-free lotion or oil, and they need weekly baths so as not to leave greasy spots on your furniture and clothing. Use a gentle baby shampoo or moisturizing shampoo and rinse thoroughly, especially between the folds of the wrinkles. If you begin bathing your sphinx kitten while he is young, he will learn to accept and sometimes even enjoy baths. Baby wipes will help to keep him clean between baths. Although the sphinx feels warm to the touch, he doesn't have a fur coat to keep him warm. If you're cold, he probably is too. Buy him a nice sweater or two to help him retain heat. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Burmese and Sphinx are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They learn tricks easily and love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect. They live peacefully with dogs and other cats. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.